What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today I wanna to talk about whether or not you should be installing iOS 12 beta one. The first thing I wanna say is that every other year, except this year, 2018, specifically June of 2018, I would say do not install beta software, especially for a big update, at least on your main device, because if something goes wrong, you could lose photos, you could lose your data, your device could go into a reboot loop, and it'd probably be a bad idea overall. But this year, I feel a lot different, and it's the first year ever in using beta software Software that I feel this way in the first year ever that I've made a video this early on should you install iOS 12 it's a big question I've seen a lot of comments asking you know should I update should I try to get it should I wait for the public beta and I'm gonna to try to answer those questions to the best of my ability in this video also talk about performance and battery life because those are huge with iOS 12 Apple released iOS 12 to developers on June 4th I've been using it since then it's been about two days and I've spent a lot of time with it I've made about four videos I've spent hours recording iOS 12 and I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of how it works and how it functions. In case you missed my speed test video that I did a couple days ago, it got a crazy amount of views. I don't know why this many people were interested, but probably because I found that iOS 12 beta 1 is actually faster than iOS 11.4. A public release version of iOS 11 is slower than the very first beta of a large update. It blows my mind that I got those results and I can only imagine on older devices like the iPhone 5S, which is still supported on iOS 12. So that alone is blowing my mind just because iOS 7 beta 1, 8 beta 1, 9 beta 1, 10 beta 1, and 11 beta 1 especially. 7 and 11 beta 1s were pretty bad. Everything else in between was okay, but iOS 12 beta 1 is insanely good. I wanna talk about battery life now. I know that's another huge point of contention on betas. In iOS 11 beta one, my battery life was absolutely terrible. In the past, in other betas, in the very first like .0 version, I've just had really bad battery life. And that's to be expected because every year Apple is throwing a ton of new stuff at you at the same time in this one piece of pre-release firmware. Obviously it hasn't been thoroughly vetted by millions of people yet to find out all the bugs and to see what's actually causing insane battery drain. But once again, in iOS 12 beta 1, I'm not having those issues that I had in the past. And it's really weird. I, I feel like I'm using iOS 12.0 GM release, even though we're only in the very first beta version out of probably six or seven or, or maybe even eight, depending on how many new betas Apple releases this year. The battery life is seriously good. I'm looking at my chart and settings right now, and it looks like even on my heaviest day of usage, I haven't gone down um, to 0%. I did charge my phone at some point during the day yesterday. So what my generalized thoughts would be is that it should be about the same, maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse. It still is a little bit too early on to tell for sure, but I'm sure it will be improved in future betas as well. I still have to keep reminding myself, this is only beta one and everything is this good. I can only imagine how this thing is gonna be in the final Golden Master version that Apple releases to everyone in fall of 2018, probably in the September or October timeframe. For apps on iOS 12, I haven't had any significant issues there as well. I think the Messages app crashes every once in a while, but it's nothing significant or to the point where it makes your device unusable. I haven't run into any reboot loops. Uh, camera works really great. I can view all my photos. I haven't lost anything. Uh, everything in iOS 12 has just been incredibly positive. So I would recommend that if you want it, you can go ahead and upgrade it to iOS 12. You can either find a developer profile online or wait for the public beta and sign up for that. The public beta, we don't have a release date for just yet, uh, but based on what Apple did last year and, and in years past, I would assume the public beta will be dropping within two or three weeks, probably alongside or a couple of days after the second beta for developers drops. If you have any other questions for me about iOS 12, let me know down below in the comment section. I can't highlight enough how good beta one is. I never thought that I would actually be recommending people get on beta one of iOS 12, but it's just insanely good. And because it's a smaller upgrade overall, Apple just did a really good job at refining what's here rather than throwing a bunch of stuff at iOS 12 and then waiting months to refine it later and, and cutting features along the way like they did with iOS 11. So it's really great. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed watching, if you learned something new, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.ibdidos.com, buy a shirt like the one I'm wearing right now there, or head over to patreon.com slash update and donate. That would be incredible. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.